Hey, so what's up guys? This is a video I've been meaning to do for some time. You know, based on feedback I've gotten from the series, so far it has been positive. And the reason I made this um, video is because I wanted to do SD card access on the SAMD21 series of devices. And I'll show you what, what, what happens. If you take a look at Atmel Start, this is the new, you know, online code generator from Microchip. You know, before they had the Atmel software framework, on, I think it's now called the Advanced Software Framework. And if you're using the SAMD20 um, or SAMD21 microcontrollers, you had access to the SD card and you could have gotten an SD card um, project and stuff. You know, online configuration um, aside, you know, a lot of these configurators, you know, a lot of manufacturers now using these configurators and, you know, um, even the, the bit. Um, bitfield style programming that I do um I you know Microsoft University has some great courses and it was not recommended that we do the bitfield style programming for these devices but it's been working for me so far and you know part of the power of BM Metal is that you'll be able to do a lot of stuff even when the um, manufacturer for the devices doesn't provide the support you can look at the data sheet and do some really cool stuff so let's say you wanted to do a SD card project so we come we create a new project we're using the SAMD20, SAMD21. Right, so we have our new project. Now, let's say we wanted to add some, some stuff to this project. Let's add a software component. Let's say we wanted to add, um, you know, this guy here, right? So this guy here should be able to access storage devices. So here we go. We select this. We add the component. You know, SDMMC. And you know, no available um, implementation satisfy the requirements for the selected device. Right? Um, so the request that we remove the requested software or create a new project is another device. So, what am I supposed to do if we have, you know, um, if we don't have support for SD cards anymore? Um, it was something that was supported before and now it's not. So, what I did is, um, like any good person, I mean, if you look back at my YouTube videos, you know that I'm a, I'm a microchip fanboy. I've been um, using their, their products from way back. You know, my channel videos, one of the oldest videos I have is actually using um, SD card access on their um, PIC-18 devices. So I, I've been using SD cards a long time with, with these devices. So I went to, I have an example here on GitHub um, with my PIC-16 and you know I use the, um, the FATFS library. This is a good library but you know some of the stuff that work for the PIC-16 series a lot of stuff that work for the, the you know the pick 16 pick 18 pick 32 pick 24 i've experienced writing sd card you know drivers sd card um you know software for a lot of them it, it doesn't work so what i actually did is i don't i looked at the um fat fs library the application note and while it was helpful i still wasn't able to write a driver so it wasn't until i started looking at the SD card specification, SD specifications, um, you know, physical layer, um, simplified specification document from the SD card association. And this is where I really, um, you know, was able to, to write the, um, the driver properly. So one of the um, aspects that really, um, was a, a bit challenging with the SAMD21 is the clocking aspect. Now, we look at the clock control and we see that, you know, when, in, when initializing the SD card, you need a slow clock speed initially and then you can ramp up the, um, the speed of the card. And so if you try to do SD card access with the full, um, with the full clock speed of the microcontroller bus, um, SPI bus, um, I run at 12 megahertz, you know things don't really work out well. You know there are also some commands. You know it depends on these commands. So, um, you know there are different commands: 17, 18 for the block read commands, 
um, for the block write commands, the block erase commands, you know, CRC and um, I basically took some time when I went through the document um, to figure out this problem. So you see the, the, the um, card command class, you know, they have the different commands here and each of these commands um, is application specific, um, you know, details some of the um, some of the stuff that, that, that these um, commands are responsible for within the SD card. So, um, you know, this, this, um, the card identification and, and, and the card specific data and, you know, um, block reads and multiple block reads and stuff like that. And when you look at the, the FATFS library, right, you get this stuff good. You know, the disk I.O., the FF.h, FFconf and stuff. But, you know, we need to implement the um, SPI access from our end. And, um, you know, an actual layer that will interface to the SD card. So, if we look at, um, at this library, what I did is within the SPI sequence, right, I actually did um, two it may not be the right way to do it, but it works, is that I I have two separate functions initializing the SPI bus. So I have one that runs the SPI bus. I have one thing that, you know, this initializes the SPI bus at a fast 12 megahertz. And I also have another um, SPI command that initializes the bus with the slow speed. And the slow speed, um, you know, 400 kilohertz um, baud rate, is what we used to do all the initialization and stuff and then we ramp up after we finish that initial sequence you know we have the SPI um, exchange um, function and functions to send bytes and read bytes and stuff from the SD card to the SPI module and this is the layer so you know we have the disk IO functions and ff.h ff.c you know these are from the um, the FATFS library and you know, this is like the lower level API, and then um, actually write, you know, I have functions here that I use to access. So, you know, we use the command instructions, um, the instruction commands, and based on the sequence of how you issue these commands, you can get the SD card to do what it is, you know, you intended. So, um, I have functions for initializing the card, um, writing commands, um, you know, selecting the cards, they select, writing single blocks, reading single blocks, uh, multiple block writes, multiple block reads, and, um, you know, the identification routines. And if we look within the, you know, the SD card um, specification here, um, you know, we'll see what all the commands do. So, uh, you know, we, we have our initialization speed where the SPI runs at a slow clock. And then we have the run speed where it runs at a fast, you know, faster clock. You know, for the initialization um, sequence, initializing at a, a low speed, we send it on the clock for specification. Um, we try to reset the card. You know, you can go through and see the entire um, sequence. Basically, um, I modified this from, um, you know, I dug around um, code that I had and I, I tweaked it for the... Um, for the SAMD21 and I try my best to follow the SD card specification um, document what they required. You know, thanks to this this layer, we are able to actually now call the high level routines for the SD card. Application here. What the application does is that we um, initialize the, you know, we have a, a UART, um, you know, an SPI um, slow initialization. You know, we um, initialize the SD card. We mount it. Once we don't have an error with the mount, you know, we, you know, open the card for writing and then we write successfully and, um, you know, we, we write some, some data into the, into the card and then, um, you know, we try and read it back and once everything is good, we close. So this is basically, um, everything you need to do SD card access via metal on the SAMD21. Um, I hope it can be useful. I, I, I really had planned to do this video first, going into all, you know, all the specifications of the, you know, SD card specification and, and walking through step by step as so I did it. But, you know, I didn't want the video too long. And, 
um and based on analytics feedback um some of you all don't even watch the entire video so i didn't really want to make a long video so um i hope this this really answers some of you i try to keep it simple no buttons or anything you just pop in the sd card and it will write the data so you can get the idea of how it works so that's it guys thanks for watching